Hi, I'm Dave Steinbacher, biology teacher at Lutheran High School of St. Charles County in St. Charles, Missouri. And I've been asked to talk to you today about uh, how you handle it when you have a student who really doesn't want to be in your class. I think we all face this from time to time when we get kids who are put into required classes and the subject matter may not be too interesting to them. So here are a few things that I do to try and keep kids a little bit more interested in the subject. Uh, we are fortunate enough at our school to be a one-to-one -one iPad school. So I use that to uh, make sure the kids uh, have clear objectives of the lesson for the day. So when they come into class, the first thing they do is uh, use their note-taking programs on the iPad and take down four or five objectives that are required in the class for the day. And in that manner, they're not only getting the idea of what they're supposed to be getting to learn that day, but also they're getting themselves a built-in study guide for the test when the test eventually rolls around. Another thing I like to try and do is to try and make things a little bit more relevant for the students. Uh, so I find different articles from time to time and try and use those. For example, I found an article about uh, some space junk that fell in Africa. And we went through the topic of how would you determine if this space junk was alive or not? Uh, fit in right with the lesson for characteristics of living things that day. Or for example, I found an article in the paper on salamanders. Now most high school kids are not too interested in salamanders, but you could also take that information about the salamanders and start applying it to us as humans and some of the chemicals that they're being exposed to and how they affect us as humans as well. Um, I think a lot of kids like mysteries, so I try to create some uh, mysteries from some actual real life situations. Um, I took an event that happened at the Battle of Midway and made a biology mystery out of it. And also I took a look at uh, uh, something like the effect of seawater on sailors who were in the water for several days after the sinking of the USS Indianapolis. And the kids really start getting involved in that and uh, start uh, asking questions. Uh, because of our iPads, I'm also able to create a number of different iBooks. And in those iBooks on different subject matters, I'm able to embed certain videos that can also be used to pique students' interest. Another great site that you can go to is the National Center for Case Study Teaching and Science. They have all kinds of different case studies that can start getting kids interested. And while many of them are quite complicated, it's pretty easy to actually get them to the level where your kids are at and uh, make them very functional for you. And the last thing I want to tell you is uh, just remember you probably won't reach every kid. Uh, my old educational psychology prof, Dr. Herman Glace, used to say Jesus was the master teacher, and he only got 11 out of 12. So if you're getting 9 out of 10, 9, nine or 10 out of 12, you're doing pretty good. You're batting in the major leagues.